How's it going there traders? Welcome back to yet another video from yours truly Dapper Willis. Guys, today is officially episode 30 of Trader Talk and most importantly, I'm back. Yes guys, I've just, I had to take some time off YouTube, I had to take some time off the charts. For those of you guys who follow me on social media, you will know and notice that I took the trip to Nigeria. Yes, I went to go call off. I went to go spend some time with my family. And, and most importantly, whilst I was there, I actually got awarded um, this award by my broker, Infinox Capital, for the best performing trader on their platform. Yes, guys, there was uh, this massive event that he put together. I didn't really even know what was happening. I just got told that I had obviously gotten an award and I walked into the event and all these people, a lot of them are actually followers from YouTube, Instagram. A lot of them were actually Forex Mastery followers, um, Forex Mastery um, students. And guys, for those of you guys who were there, I just want to tell you from the bottom of my heart that I love you guys so much. Thank you because the love that I was showed at the event, you know, it was, it was, it was something else. I'm so happy that this YouTube channel is actually impacting a lot of lives. Guys, this is the reason I do what I do okay this is the reason at the end of the day YouTube is it's kind of like a hobby for me right I make all my money 99.9% .9 of my money I make it from trading the market this is just a way for me to reach out to people help people educate people because like I, I keep telling you guys whilst I was struggling during my early days as a forex trader right it was so difficult it was so tough I used to cry and I remember praying to God I said God if you help me crack the code, if you help me understand this market, right, I will give back as much as I can, okay? So this is exactly why I come on YouTube. Now, to be able to um, go to Nigeria after so long and get awarded this and see the impact firsthand and see people literally transform their lives because they either watch my YouTube channel or their Forex Mastery student, to actually see the impact of my voice and my teachings is absolutely guys i have no words for this i just want to say thank you if you came out that day thank you and for those of you guys who couldn't make it who follow me on youtube who watch my videos thank you i'm i am honored to be your teacher i'm honored to be your instructor i'm honored to be your guide to financial freedom um so that's it pretty much guys now guys in about two hours from now uh, I'm not, I'm not going to make this video too long. Um, Trader Talk is all about, the, obviously, I'm going to be diving into my charts. I have a couple of pairs I want to break down. I want to talk about gold. I want to talk about the euro, GBP, USD. Obviously, the euro is at parity at the moment. A parity simply means the euro and the dollar are now uh, you know, at par. Um, I want to talk about some stuff, but um, I'm not going to waste too much time today because I have a jet waiting for me to take me to Doha. Yes. Um, if you guys remember all the way back in November when I went to Qatar to sign a deal worth $50 million, we have successfully traded the account and we're currently floating at about 64% as we speak. Yes, it's only been six months. Actually, I stopped trading on the accounts last month. So we're currently up 64% now. So if you parade that, if you do the math, that is over, what, 29 to 30 million US dollars growth. And, and the profit sharing on that is about 50-50. So guys, yes, I'm going all the way to Doha in about two hours now. I'm really excited. Um, I really don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm worried. I hope I don't retire after this because <laughs> there's a significant amount of money, right? I hope I don't retire. But... Guys, I'm joking. I'm not going anywhere. No, not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. But I'm going to be going to Doha, obviously, to pick up my freaking cash. Um, and yeah, but before I go, before I go anywhere, I need to jump into the charts. Guys, there's some juicy stuff cooking on the charts. I want to share with you guys. That police is fucking... I'm fucking back. I'm back. I'm back, people. And for those of you guys who haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery program, you're doing yourself a great injustice, as always. I keep telling you guys. If you want to learn how to trade like I do, you want to be picking up all these checks, you want to be bagging all these investors, the link is just so inexpensive. The pr literally, my team was telling me that we should actually double the price because it's just 99 bucks. I won't be surprised if by the time you guys click the link, it might be $200 now because my team is saying, so, this is so cheap. I've seen people all over the world buying this thing for next to nothing. How 99, a $99 course is literally changing people's lives. So if you haven't grabbed it, go ahead and grab it so that you can become a pro like yours truly, that point this. But enough of all the talk. Kiss my award. Guys, let's jump into the video. Let's go to the charts. Let's go. All right, guys, welcome. 
inside of my screen yes it's been a minute i actually haven't looked at the charts in a while probably about three four weeks but that's fine because the good thing about it is i mean i think i had a gold trade um, that i had placed that did absolutely well now the way that i like to trade is i like to set the tr set the trades and then go do other things so whilst i was on holiday gold was actually making me a lot of money but before i go into gold i want us to literally touch bitcoin for a bit just for two seconds and then i'm going to take you guys to a trade setup that i'm looking at at the moment right so i want to i want you guys to understand that the Forex Mastery program, the top-down analysis, as you can see, can now be used for a lot of uh, a lot of different markets. Okay, so whatever financial product you're interested in trading, the top-down analysis works for all of them. What we have in front of us right about here is Bitcoin. Now I had projected Bitcoin, you know, to collapse since probably about 60k. I knew Bitcoin was going to come to. This is even the, the lows are actually lower than this, so about 29k. If you watch my previous videos, I announced it, I, I, I called it live here with the top down methodology. Now, why did Bitcoin collapse? Okay, so a lot of people are trying to understand why Bitcoin collapsed from a fundamental and sentimental standpoint, but there wasn't really that much news going on about Bitcoin. As a matter of fact, a lot of countries. Um, a lot of platforms were starting to accept cryptocurrency. So what led to the collapse of Bitcoin? Now, I'll explain to you guys in very simple terms. You see, when I preach that these markets are 95% technical, people think that I'm crazy. Well, it's so simple. If you had simply come on the monthly or the weekly time frame, you would have seen something that was very glaring. Okay, Forex Mastery students, you know for a fact, for free, that once there is a chat pattern formation so our chat pattern formations that are very reliable are double tops double bottoms head and shoulders and inverse head and shoulders so you can see that just by coming on a higher time frame you know like we preach on the top down analysis and the forex mastery program you would have been able to see that there was trouble in paradise whilst everybody was buying into the bitcoin hype i said this i said categorically for all of you buying Bitcoin, pray and pray to God. Pray that Bitcoin breaches above $64,000 per coin. Not only does it breach above, pray we come and close above at at least 85 k So Bitcoin would have needed to close around here for this to have been considered a continuation of a trend. However, that didn't happen. What happened instead? Bitcoin, um, instead Bitcoin came to the previous highs at 64K. We breached it just a little bit about 68K, made brand new highs. But as you can see, this was nothing more, If in hindsight, if you go on a monthly time frame, this was not, nothing more than a double top. Now, this double top now led to, and guys, you already know, what happens in a double top formation the market starts to retrace and once a double top formation has held we must come and revisit the neckline so principles as simple as that led me to predict the crash of bitcoin from 64k all the way what to 28k simple straightforward you do not need to complicate your trading so what do you do with this kind of information if i already know that bitcoin is going to crash from 68 from 64k let's say at this point we're not really sure probably at this point we were now setting our bitcoin was going to fall maybe at this point we're not like ah we're definitely coming now what do you do with this kind of information hence the top-down analysis you do your projection on higher time frame and then you scale down to lower time frames like the daily and the week, the daily and the four hour and then you start looking for selling opportunities about here i was very busy at this point but i got in my sales were about forty seven thousand dollars per coin i shorted bitcoin all the way from 47k all the way down to what 28k very very handsome profit it took me about three and a half minutes to analyze the chart just by looking at the higher time frame so simple so straightforward now i wanted to go over this because 
I keep getting questions. People ask me, um, Daps, does your course or does your strategy or does your thingy work for VIX? Does it work for crypto? Does it work for Bitcoin? Guys, this is not a strategy. This is the way to trade and analyze the market, period. I don't believe in strategies. This is price action at its finest. As you can see, I don't need any freaking Bollinger Bands or moving average. I don't need any of that. I just look at the market, okay? Understand price action and I can tell you what's going to happen next. And I already knew once we breach here, we we're going to come here. Why? Because if you look left, if you look left, it's so simple, guys. This thing is so simple. The next, that, there you are. There you are. I also announced once we breached 28k, we're coming to 19k. When I said this and it happened, people were like, this guy is a wizard. This guy is a genius. This guy is a magician. Well, I like to consider myself a magician. But if you just simply look left and just understand the top-down analysis, the top-down methodology, you would be able to do this like this. It is so simple and straightforward. And I'm happy to see when I go on social media now, all my students are, are just dropping some fire charts. You know, they are making a lot of money. Some 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 kids are holding trades for like 2,000 pips. I am so proud of you guys. Forex Mastery students, I am proud to call you guys my students because you guys actually listen to what I say. Now, Bitcoin, that's Bitcoin in a nutshell. Once again, if you haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery program, the link is going to be in the description as always or around here somewhere. Now, let's go over to some future projections. I was actually looking at um, AUDUSD. AUDUSD is actually on my watch list as we speak. Okay. And from what I can see, AUDUSD, if we, if we continue with current projection, we have a potential 1,000 pip drop. So we're currently holding on to dear life at 0 0.700, okay? That is a round number. Round numbers, um, when it comes to AUD, USD loves to respect its round numbers. However, I will be watching this, this level very closely. Two things are going to happen. So from what I can see, from a top-down perspective, this market is in a downtrend. So rule number one, what do we do? We come on the monthly time frame to see what's happening. What direction is this market heading? Even a baby will tell you that this market is heading down. Okay. Once we are able to have that in the bag, we have that in our pocket. Monthly time frame is pointing downwards, right? That's strike number one. Strike number two, um, do we have an, any chart pattern formations forming at the moment? Yes, we do. So what's actually happening now is there's a bit of conflict on AUD USD because I can see left, this is the head, it's looking like a right shoulder. So the overall bias is bearish. However, there's conflict. So what do we do in times of conflict? It's simple and straightforward. All you need to do, ladies and gentlemen, is wait for a monthly candle to come and close down below this level. And guys, you have all this space to the downside. If as long as AUDUSD can give us a bearish engulfing candle on a monthly time frame, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first on Dapo Willis Radio, live on YouTube channel. Ha ha ha. AUDUSD is heading to 0 0.6 hundred which is about here so guys think about it you have a potential 1000 pip drop on this now once the monthly candle closes down here is simple forex mastery students look on module five you know the counter trend line um, strategy that i always preach that i teach is accurate nine out of ten times simply scale to daily and four hour time frame and then use the strategy that is taught on the forex mastery program to enter this market and you you, you will be you'll be smiling home with nothing less than 650 pips on one six fifty, because we're going to need this market to. Uh, this will probably cost us another two hundred pips, right? We'll need the market to commit. It's all about commitment, right? At the moment, it's fifty fifty. We can blow out to the upside. This is looking like a head and shoulder, if you ask me, a massive one. So I'm gonna. Be, I'm not in a hurry, and this is one thing you guys need to understand. The reason why I make so much money from the game is this: I'm never in a hurry. Okay. Never in a hurry because from what I can see, anything can happen. The market now needs to commit to me. It needs to come on. Mr. Willis, I am ready to roll. Forex Mastery students, it's time to go. But until then, we shall be watching and, you know, anticipating this thing patiently, okay? So, but I do favor the downside. Why? Because 
these are too many this this trend line has rejected this market far too many times it's like freaking ninja needles okay so it will give up eventually especially with the strength on the dollar index the dollar index is strengthening like crazy okay so however if that doesn't happen i will come on here and reanalyze we analyze the market but AUD usd is priority on my watch list these are the kind of trades that i'll place i'll have two trades in one trade meaning that once we commit i'll probably place my first order place my second order and i'm able to uh, rack up 650 times two you're probably looking at the thousand three hundred pips and i will just be flying my jet and just be traveling up and down the whole place and living my best life guys once again you don't have to always be stuck in front of your screen to make a profit you don't always have to be clicking buttons you don't have to use those indicators you don't have to watch all these youtube videos it is so simple and straightforward number one first of all consume the forex mastery content understand flow of the river once you understand the flow of the river anticipate the flow of the river allow the river to start flowing Take your Kano, your small account or whatever account size you have, simple. If it's flowing south, allow it to start flowing south. Then you just run and you jump and then just allow the wave and the tide carry you to profitability. Allow the wave carry you into riches. Allow the wave carry you into redrawals of US dollars. Okay? So... That's AUD USD for you guys in a nutshell. Not too much is happening here. If I come down to the daily time frame to see what exactly is happening, we have actually pulled all the way back into this level. Best believe 0.700 is a magnet. Look at all this space, guys. Maybe you didn't see it properly before. Space. Yakba. Space is plenty. This space is a lot. Okay. So we just need to wait for AUD USD to finish whatever the thing it is it's doing. And as you can see on the daily time frame, it looks like a mess. So at, at this point, I will stick to the week. I'll be looking at this market from a weekly time frame perspective. And when I say, when I call all these big time frames, you don't, you know, I didn't, don't trade on these higher time frames. We're not trading on them. We're simply using them as a guide for direction. And I think I know why this is actually stalling. <sighs> okay, so a bridge of this actually, you see, guys, this actually caused issues the last time guys this i traded this collapse to pandemic this was pandemic i was stuck in nigeria pandemic yes a thousand people i remember so i know i know i can feel aud usd i can spot it from a mile away but this level actually you know caused a little issues but we pulled back into here and we call as you can see history it has happened before in the past we came out this level held it pulled back and look at what happened it's coming out again so let's see if history repeats itself so for now we are stuck in between a major zone and a minor zone. Ideally, I would love to see a break of this level um, for further downside. We can blow all the way to the upside. If we blow all the way to the upside, I will not be interested in AUD USD. I'm favoring the downside to the tune of 80% and to the upside to the tune of 20%. Never get too overconfident with your analysis. You hear it here first. If not, you run into issues. Always leave room, a little room for a possibility of things not going your way so that you don't run into issues. However, I'm I'm, I'm quite confident. If we can break, if we can if this level can hold and we start start pointing downwards, ooh. Oh well, it's gonna be a beautiful Christmas. Man. From start planning for Christmas from now because man, by the time you jump on this trade, man. You will buy a new car, carry on, go village. Everybody go to ask you what you did do for Lagos. <laughs> hey, so my guy don't hammer. Anyways, um, for those guys who don't understand what I just said, that's a little lingua from from Nigeria. And yes, Nigeria was absolutely fun. I loved, jeez, it was so much fun. Forex mastery students that came out. I love you guys very much. I saw you guys. It was a bit overwhelming, but the next time I'm back, I would have... Um, a special event just for you guys. Um, I actually want to do like an African tour, um, the major cities. So in one in South Africa, one in Ghana, Nigeria, I think Kenya. We have a lot of students from these regions. So West Africa, Southern Africa, East Africa, and then obviously the UK and the US and Canada as well. So we're going to probably work on some tour dates. Um, and then we're obviously, so that we can, so I can sit down with you guys. And for those guys who are, who are struggling, I can obviously help you guys out. Once again, if you haven't grabbed the program, the link is going to be in the description down below. Now, enough of AUDUSD. I wanted to speak about 
uh, gold, right? So a bit of euro. Well, the euro has hit parity. Mm, the euro is boring right now. I made money shorting the euro. Is not really much going on. Maybe you can still fall some more. Euro. Okay, let's look at the euro. Not really. You, me, and euro have always beefing. We always have this beef. So let's have a look at the euro. At the moment, the euro is sliding down. So let's see. Probably a pullback into um, this region. So this is looking like Willy Zone. Let me see. Um, yeah, so a pull back into here, we can potentially see. Oh, that's a nice setup. Yeah, so if we're able to sustain below, so this would be what the touch of the trend line would this be? As many touches, or one, two, so one, two, so third. So fourth touch always is a bit problematic. So we will need to close below this level. So I'll need to see a bearish engulfing candle down here. Come in here, reject. And then we can see a selling opportunity. So we have selling opportunity on the euro, AUD, USD as well. But I want to educate you guys on gold pretty quickly. Now, I had a fantastic trade on gold just before I traveled to Nigeria. Yes, everybody was. I remember gold was moving sideways for a while. So I think my trade was a bit like was a bit like this. Right. So um, simple and straightforward gold pulled back we jumped into the trade as you can see it's hit my target although it was moving sideways for how long so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 a whole month this market moved sideways i held it you know what i did i held it put my computer off i went to chill Guys, you have to be able to dissociate yourself from the channel. See what happened. Look at the pips, guys. From $1,847 an ounce all the way down to $1,700 an ounce. So that's 1,800 800 pips on gold. It's the power of tr quality over quantity. You place that trade. First of all, identify the flow. It was pointing downwards. Place the trade. Close your computer and go spend time with your family. Allow, as you can see, the market now started to work for me. Every day it was coming down. It was working for me. It was working. I wasn't checking my chart until it finally hit my TP. Now, what is the next thing for gold? What's gold? What's going to happen to gold next? Now, from what I can see, it's not looking really gold, good for gold. So you will notice something very similar happen to Bitcoin, right? From a higher time frame perspective, I'm seeing difficulties. Gold is having serious difficulties bridging this $1,900 per ounce slash 2K per ounce resistance level. Usually when this happens, it, it, it spells doom for that particular financial instrument. Um, so this is a double top. Obviously, this will be the neckline down here. What does this mean? We could potentially see a drop from gold. All the way down here now let me try and see if i can find a trend line that might hopefully support because i mean gold is a huge commodity and the world relies on it a lot sometimes when i do this analysis i just pray god please I remember when i predicted the collapse of oil from 75 dollars a barrel to 28 dollars a barrel right um you have to understand that uh, predominantly i'm nigerian and nigeria relies heavily on oil proceeds so as much as I was making money from the collapse of oil personally, I knew the repercussive effects of that collapse of oil on the Nigerian economy. You hear what I'm saying? So sometimes when I do this analysis, I get worried. I'm like, oh, I'll make money, but what happens to the rest? But some people are like, eh, they don't really care. I'm like, guys, you don't know. You don't know what you mean. Because of that analysis alone, obviously I wasn't the one that caused the price of oil to collapse i made a lot of money shortening in 20, 2014 um 2014 2015 um however you know the repercussive effects on the nigerian economy that was for the first time in my life i heard nigeria went into a recession you know so i was it wasn't so great you know so we have something same thing with bitcoin i was even praying bitcoin please bridge the highs because i knew a lot of people that had bitcoin and they were buying collapsed people getting wiped out people fortunes getting wiped out so from but the good thing about you being a trader and the good thing about you guys listening to dapper willis is they're always positioned in the best place right so i'll tell you before it happens right um i'll tell you right before it happens right so don't worry about that just the most important thing is that you're trading in the right direction and you're making money
Okay, as traders, we make money if it's going up, if it's coming down, you're sideways, but we always make money, right? So the same thing for this looking like well, highly likely for gold, right? I'm looking at gold, like gold. You tried gold has been here since last year. Since this this is 20th of look at the first time we spiked the 20th of July, 20 1st of July 20. So this is 20 20. It's been this is second year we've been with gold has been here for four cheese. Gold has been here for two years in this range. Gold has been in this range for two years. Hmm. You know what that means? And we've been unable to break it. And this second breach is lower than the first one. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, all I can say is if gold bridges this current level as we speak, um, the next level target for gold is going to be here. First of all, let me map out these levels so carefully so that we can know what's happening. Once again, if you want to learn how to map out your levels so clearly, so effectively, like the Australia Dapper Willis, you need to grab the freaking program. Okay, so there you go guys next level to target for gold if we break 1724 next level target will be 1520 so two things can happen to gold as as long as we if we if we continue staying below this green bar and we break down here guys we're coming here if we break down here we're coming here it's not even rocket science so i'm just going to be monitoring gold if we start to rally all the way to the upside all well and good we'll look for more buying opportunities however as we speak gold is currently moving sideways so i will keep gold in one corner i'll be watching i made money this trade was very sweet i made money all, all the way down here how did i make money okay let me tell you how i made money of this trade let me give you guys a little expo so there's a little trick when the market pushes up highs we push up again we are unable to break the highs as you know once there's a double top and the market is coming down coming down the, once the double top holds we must come to the neckline just like what happened in bitcoin right remember the double top and it started coming down neckline next same thing with this guy double top next to it was coming down to come to the neckline so what usually happens guys a little trick we usually stop in between midway midway of the game we stop mid Nah, guys, I'm going to save this for the Forex Mastery program. I can't do that. Nah, nah, nah. This is some juice. This is some juice. If you haven't grabbed Ruan, click the... Mm -hmm. My student Guys, I'm all about my students for the next six months because they, 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 they... When I saw them in Nigeria, I was like, ah! Guys, see the impact. People are actually... Their lives are actually changing. People are actually passing FTMO. People are actually passing their... their um, those funded programs. People are actually buying the car. People are actually... I see screenshots. I just redrew 15K. I just redrew 10K. I just, I just paid my brother's school fees. I just sent myself to Canada. I just did... I'm like, wow, from the Forex Mastery program. Hmm. Anyways, guys, I was going to tell you guys a little trick about that, but I'll save it for the course. I can't do that. But yeah, you know the drill. So once we break here... By the way, the link to the course is going to be down below. Once we break here, next level target is going to be here. Now, is there any pair I'm forgetting at the moment? I think that's about it. We're talking about Bitcoin. So, my two, the two major things on my watch list are AUD USD, AUD USD, and Euro USD. Maybe next week I will jump into GBP USD. I don't want to keep this too long. I have a flight to catch. Um, I'm going to have to leave you guys right about now. Um, if there are any pairs you want me to analyze, drop put the link and um, drop me a comment down below if you found this video very helpful. Let me know. Unfortunately, we don't have any ripe setups at the moment, but you need to give the market time. All our setups have hit target. So the market still now needs time to consolidate and then give us another setup so that we can give it another one. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. Thank you for staying to the very end of this video. I have something to share with you guys on my other screen. Let us go. All right, people, there you have it. Thank you for staying till the very end of this very lengthy video. I have a flight to catch. Okay, we're going to be flying in an airplane, looking out the window. Yeah, guys, I got a flight to catch. I'm off to um, Doha to go pick up some cash, some serious box, some serious bag. I hope I've been able to impact you guys positively on this video. Um, I hope I've been able to shed some light on all the happenings in the financial market thus far. Watch out for my videos. I will. I'm back. My videos are going to keep coming. As a matter of fact, I have another one that's going to be published either Friday night or Saturday night. So stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. Click the subscribe button. If you haven't grabbed the program, do so. Drop me a comment. If you saw me in Nigeria, drop me a comment. And I'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos.
But for the time being, I gotta go. Love you guys very much. Take it easy and peace out.